part of the Press Play Podcast Network. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. This is Jason J. Lewis, the voice of Superman on Justice League Action. This is Mark Wayne, writer of Superman Burgoyne. You're listening to The Krypton Report. Hey everybody, happy Superman Day. Welcome to the Krypton Report Superman Day special event video. Um, <laughs> this is not exactly how we had planned on celebrating Superman Day. Um, the original plan was we were going to do a live kind of chat, phone in, video extravaganza. Um, but as some of you know, the family is on quarantine. We are locked in for, uh, we're getting over COVID. Um, and so we created this little special today for everybody. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, checking this out. I appreciate it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, let's just real quick here, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the future of the podcast. Uh, this summer, I actually have a whole thing dedicated to what we're going to be into this summer. It's really exciting. Um, I have a Father's Day special coming up. It's going to be a little later than Father's Day just because the person that I was working with, um, new guest, is had a quick battle uh, almost with COVID, so we had to throw our days around. I appreciate all the listeners, all the support, and everything that's been going on. I appreciate everybody who has helped make Krypton Report uh, just what it is. It's an exciting time. So without further delay, let's get into some of the fun, kind of interesting little tidbits here we have for Superman Day. Um so enjoy. Happy Superman Day from Superman Red and the Krypton Report. Hello, fellow citizens of Candor. This is Brian, your man child of steel, wishing you a happy Superman Day. I hope you're celebrating in style. Today, I'm going to be watching some Lois and Clark, New Adventures of Superman, and some old Adventures of Superman. A little nostalgia feel. I hope you have a safe day, and I hope that every day you're fighting for truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. Take it easy. Hey, everyone. Today, well, it's me, Taylor. Um, uh, um, Happy Superman Day. My favorite character is Supergirl because her so funny, and she's my favorite character can ever live. My name's Solomon Patrick, and today's Superman Day. I hope you have a lot of fun. And if you're going to watch Jurassic World Dominion, today's the day of Jurassic World and Superman. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Jania. Um, I am the wife of the master of the Krypton Report, Mr. P Tyler Patrick. Uh, he's my dude. Um... He lets me kind of jump on here sometimes and actually like speak and talk with you guys. It's pretty fun. So a lot of you might think that I'm in this because um, my husband's been interested in it and I'm just trying to do something that's fun with him and you know, being one of those cool wives that's like, okay, I guess I'll get into it with you. But the uh, reality of it all is I'm quite nerdy myself. Um, and he did introduce me to a lot of these things, but I ended up falling in love with them. Um, maybe not quite to his level, <laughs> but um, I do love them. But um, Superman is definitely, I would say, my favorite character out of the Superman universe, as crazy as that sounds, um, and as generic as that may sound. But I love what he stands for. Um, I love the idea of hope and that we all struggle with so much inside of ourselves, but we can choose to be better. And I feel like that's what Superman, um, you know, shows us is that, you know, he comes across as like being perfect and everything, but we know that he's not. We know that he has a lot of, you know, internal struggles. Um, and I think some people get really caught up in his perfection kind of image, but he's so much more than that. And um, he could be evil, he could be dark with everything that he has inside of him, but he chooses to be better. 
um, that shadow is still there, that darkness still kind of lingers, but he doesn't give in to it. Um, and I think that that is kind of the hope that I see in him is that I can always choose to be better just like Superman. It's story time. Welcome to story time. One of the most important things about Superman Day are comic books and these characters is the actual comic books. Um, you can see here I have a, you know, my book collection and these are just more of my graphic novels that are all Superman related while I have more graphic novels over there. Uh, so trying to figure out what to what, read today. Um, you know, I've been making my way, I put this on the shelf for this video, but I've been making my way through this book. It's been a good read. It's been enjoyable. It's been different um, because, you know, this is a pre-crisis basically with Superman. So it's a different kind of feel compared to what I'm used to seeing and reading with mostly post-crisis. So that that's a... If you want a novel, the Elliot S. Magan novels, here's the other one, is a great... Hey, Sayla! Hey, Daddy. Hey, Sayla, say hi on the video. Hi. Another book, this is a great kind of if you just want to get a Superman overview. Um, kind of crazy, just because there's so many stories and collections from different eras and different times. This is another one that I'll dip back into probably today. Because uh, it's just fun to kind of get an overview of the whole character. Um, from Action Comics that I recently went over to just where the character is today. Um, the dailies are fun just to get a look at what the character was like back in the day. And a different perspective, a very golden age perspective on the character. The other thing is, it is June... It is the anniversary, and we do have the uh, Death of Superman collection right here. Yeah, but um, we don't have all the collections. We do. We just don't have the, the the one that connects here. You have the original Priest there, so. I'm, and we're going to be doing a podcast on that, you know, kind of celebrating that. So that is another book you could read on this day, like just to kind of look at the comics, but... That's kind of where I am. I think I'm, like I said, the uh, Action Comics, uh, <clears throat> 80 years, and finishing up my Elliot S. Magan novel is where I'm at, I think, for reading for today and getting back in touch. I'm also on the Superboy kick, and I'm kind of waking my way through it. So that could be another thing. So what are you reading? What do you plan to read? Pick up a comic, at least something small, and celebrate the first superhero that is the quintessential that all other characters are based on. So for all you Marvel lovers as well and MCU lovers, without Superman, none of that would have been possible. What? Well, guys, also my dad has a poster all about comics. Right, Daddy? Right, buddy. So it's right behind him. It says 1,000 comics of Superman. And, and this is like the cute the poster, everybody. So next Saturday, I thought I'd go ahead and take a moment here. Next Saturday represents the seven-year anniversary of the Krypton Report. It's pretty crazy that it's been going on for seven years. You know, when this podcast started, it was just one thing, and it's kind of become something else, and we keep growing. I mean, I, I, I see it continually grow. Like this year, we've made a lot of new friends as far as other podcasters that we've worked with. Um, it's been really exciting to work beside uh, James and Jania, and now... Solomon uh, wants to take a bigger part in podcasting with me. You've heard him on an episode and on a Patreon special. So that's been something really unique to get to do with my son. Um, in July, we'll be doing a deep dive into crypto and his history. So you'll hear more of Solomon and I discuss crypto. And you'll see him um, hopefully do some video stuff like this with me. You see him doing the unboxing videos. Him and Salem officially taking over doing the unboxing videos. And they direct it and film it and do everything with it. And I just edit it together so you don't get like 20 minutes of, <laughs> of kid stuff. Uh, but it's it's nice. This year, let's see. Um, I was looking at from June to June. So I was saying we did them like right last year, right before we wrapped up the anniversary, right around the anniversary of the podcast is when we did the interview with George Newbern, which was awesome. So kicking off about another year talking to a Superman. Of course, 
Uh, we also got that day. It was an awesome day because I got to talk to Jason J. Lewis again, too. So talk to two Supermans in one day. This year with the podcast, some great things have happened with uh, merging – not merging, but uh, being brought in as part of the Press Play Podcast Network. You know, That's part of our podcasting family now, and that's been great to be part of a new network, new team. We did the soft rebrand, new artwork, new images, new music, uh, really trying to build a new look for the show as well as we put forth a lot of effort into creating more uh, content for everyone. Uh, one thing that we've done last October, we started the what I called the Meet series, where we would just interview other podcasters, and that's been great. We've had Zach Moore uh, on from Always Hold On to Smallville, Andy DiGenova from Holy Batcast. We worked with, oh man, <laughs> just thinking back, like it's been really a great experience um michael bailey was on we had uh excuse me my new bud nate mckenzie the superman the animated series podcast and of course i got to work with and he's been on the show and i've been on his show is mr anthony desiato from digging for kryptonite so it's been a very exciting time for us at krypton report and i also got to interview ursa herself so that was pretty awesome i Sarah Douglas, that video is on here. So it's been a great year, and there's more cool things to come. Um, There's always setbacks with life and everything, and so it stinks that we didn't get to do what we planned. Um, But hey, it's life. So, But thank you, everyone, for another year of Krypton Report, and I look forward to just continuing on to talk about things that are fun and meet exciting and new people. That's really what podcasting is all about, and we have two new people who are beyond the podcast this year. And we also got to bring on Levi and do a couple episodes with him. That's been a blast too. Um, and anyone who's out there who wants to guest. And if I missed your name, I'm sorry. Um, Ryan, uh, the voice Ryan, uh, he's been great to chat with and been on his podcast. So anybody who wants to actually be on the podcast, just send us a message and we'll get you in. Okay. So here's to another year. I like Superman because well, he is a good hero, and he flies, and and um. Also, I like Superman's pet Crypto. If you know who Crypto is, and Superboy and Supergirl, I'm more Superboy fan. fan. Say was a more super girl fan. Fan. Not friend. Fan. So, also, um, I like how he's, like, um, like, just a good hero. Like, and, and Superman had some really cool villains. If you know what I'm talking about. So, that's probably all I get about Superman. One thing that I watched today for Superman Day was I had never seen, I didn't even really know about, was the George Reeves, the Avengers of Superman called The Lost Episode. <clears throat> it was actually a partnership with the U.S. Treasury where it was a story. It's 17 minutes. It's on Tubi. Can't have a, gotta give a great shout out to Tubi um, for really helping with some of this Superman fandom stuff that. Um, I'm filling in like uh, this summer. My goal, sidetrack real quick. Um, after a conversation with Anthony Desiato, I'm filling in my Superman fandom of listening to all the radio shows. I'm gonna get that done, and I'm gonna watch all of Superboy. And as of right now, I'm finishing. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm finishing season two of Superboy as of this recording right now. So that's pretty exciting. The other thing is what I was saying is. So this adventure of Superman with George Reeves, it was about the U.S. Treasury, and it's about stamp, it's called Stamp Day, but it's also, in, it focuses on the importance of saving money, investing, and bonds. And, you know, at the time, like, uh, this is post-war bonds and everything. But what's interesting is it doesn't feel forced. It feels very natural, like an, an episode, um... <laughs> You know, Superman stops a robbery and he goes in and the guy's like, I should have saved money. I should have done this. And 
look where it's led me. And later, Jimmy talks about cashing in his bonds, and he bought a smaller, mini, uh, more portable typewriter. And I just thought it was a very interesting um, little short episode and something that of Superman I didn't know about that I got to take part of today. So thank you to Tubi for having that. And it'll be part of just that memory of having, uh, you know, that appreciation for George and the series. Uh, check it out. 17 minutes is something kind of neat to kind of see a snapshot of that time and be more George Reeves discussion in the future. Thank you. Going on today on this uh, Superman Day, Superman Weekend, is in Metropolis, Illinois, right now, is Superman's celebration. And man, does it break my heart that we're not there because of <laughs> what happened. But I do want to wish everyone who's there a great, wonderful time. I hope you guys are having a blast. I know that this year, uh, Tom Welling, Michael Rosenbaum, George Newman are all there. All people I've got to meet before, which is awesome, but it would be great to be there. I know Jack O'Holler and I think Sarah Douglas was supposed to be there as well. Um, I know that uh, Sam Rizzo's there. So if you are sh- if you want to check out what's going on there, check out uh, the Superboy Legacies Twitter and Instagram. I'm sure he's putting a lot. The Superman Museum's probably putting a lot up on Instagram, their Facebook, their social media. So to everyone down in Metropolis, happy celebration. Wish we could be there next year you know that's the plan what, what else can we do me and solomon we're definitely going to be there this year until this happened um so just keep going and we wish you all the best <laughs> for our final segment for superman day it's been a, it's been a fun day um i bring forth the love virginia hello she does exist i promise <laughs> but um so we kind of with everything Superman I always watch, or, you know, for this year on Superman Day, I kind of focused a little bit differently uh, for reviewing. Like I, like I said earlier, I've been making my way through Superboy, and she painfully has watched a couple episodes and looks at me like, yeah. Sorry, Sam. That's what I'm just saying. Uh, but I, I don't mind the cheesiness, but that's life. But we, we kind of... I, I watched that special U.S. Treasury, The Adventures of Noah George Reeves, and so we thought we'd do something else uh, for Janina as we watched the season s- six. Totally blank. It's like the last season. I Love Lucy has an episode with Superman called Lucy Meets Superman. So we watched that, which stars George Reeves. And that was pretty cool. That was really awesome, yeah. Uh, I, okay, so my history that I had seen it once before years ago with my great grandma and grandma. Hmm. And that was my first introduction to George. But it had been so long, like, I didn't remember all of it. The part I did remember was at the end, just because it's been included in so many documentaries, um, where Superman goes out on the ledge, and Ricky's like, for 15 years. And he says, wait, you've been married to this woman for 15 years? <laughs> He's like, yeah, 15 years. And he goes, and they call me Superman. <laughs> um, yep. And... That that's the part I always remember. So it was cool to kind of revisit this. And for anyone, I did not realize this, but it's on. Actually, it's blank. It's either on Paramount or HBO. It's on one of them. It has I Love Lucy. I don't know. You just queued it up for me. Yeah, so. I bought the episode it was a long time ago. It was ninety nine cents, and I was like, it was worth owning. Well, yeah. um, but I saw one of the streamers has it. It's either Paramount or HBO has I Love Lucy on it. So it was a cool. I mean, the episode. It was neat. Um, because did you catch this? The way they talk about him in the episode? What do you mean? What, is, what, what, what was I supposed to catch? He's Superman. Yeah. He's never George. Well, yeah, because that was a huge thing for the time, wasn't it? Like, they um, they talked as if Superman was coming to Macy's department store. They said that in the episode. Mm-hmm. Like, they never call him George. He is Superman no matter where he is and he act like the episode is done like the episode starts the first scene is uh ricky and little ricky watching the adventure of superman and it's actually superman flying in yeah and it has ricky in his shirt and if you watch the way superman enters the birthday party with the same kind of bounce effect that he does on his show yeah he jumped right through the um, 
oh, what are those called? I never remember. It's like a kitchen like partition. The, yeah, the partition like, yeah. doors. Yeah, they were cute. And what what else is neat is when he goes out on the ledge, like, you know, Lucy sells it by already being out there on the ledge and playing up the danger of being on the roof in everything. Can we just talk about how awesome of a mother she is? That Okay, well, we'll say it like this because it's really, really funny and petty. Um, she's an awesome mother for wanting to do that for her kid to make her kid's birthday party special, but we also know that she did it because she was trying to one-up you know, the uh, the friend or whatever, the, the mother yeah, of the other kid. Wh- whose birthday is. They're like, yeah, he has a magician coming <laughs> and a clown, and their parties are at the same time because yeah. it's on the weekend and they're in the same class and all this stuff. And but, they're like, well, we're having Superman at the party. But the cool thing was she was willing to make herself, like, a little bit of a fool in order to, like, follow through with the promise that yeah. she made. Yeah, the fact she's like, I'll just run around on the ledge, and they won't know the difference. <laughs> the ledge. She's like, yeah. She has a whole plan. And the, the Having the helmet on, like, Superman never wears a helmet. She's like, well, I do to hide this red hair. Yeah. yeah. Yep, if Superman had long red hair, he would. <laughs> yeah. But it, what I thought was neat is like when he goes out there, like just the ease that he moves around still sells that it's Superman. Yeah. It's not George. And there's even the line where they're like, he's going to another place in Indiana. And she goes, why does Superman need to fly? Why does he need a plane? Can he just fly there? And Ricky's like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it, was, it was awesome. Man. And just, there's a charm to, to him, George. absolutely. I was going to say one of my favorite parts of the whole thing was at the very, very end um, when he makes that joke about Lucy and about, like, you've been married to this woman for, for 15 two. years. Yeah, 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he literally, he says his line at the very end, which is what? And they call me Superman. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and then he just, like, he, he crosses his arms like this and he looks over at Lucy and she makes her iconic face that she does when she's offended by something. Yeah, but so much bigger. <laughs> I can't <do> this. <laughs> It's okay. Um, but yeah, and then he just kind of, you see him like try to keep from laughing out loud. And he just kind of sits there and he just kind of chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cute. It almost made me, like I told you, like it almost made me wonder if like the end you called me was like, improv or uh you know because it just felt like there was such a big part to it that it just felt i don't know if it was improv but it was it was done really well it was cute yes it was yeah and i love that he was like holding little ricky like up on his shoulders and stuff at the very end just like you would think superman would and i mean like you said there's a, a a charm and a classicness I told you we're recording that we I come get you when we're done. She did this to me yesterday too. I was doing something. She just walked in and said, I want to hug you. Mm-hmm. I want attention. Mm-hmm. We're trying to talk Superman. Say what? It's okay, it's not live. It's, I can never do anything live. You love me? Do you? We love you as well, but we need to finish this. We're almost done, Sayla. I gotta... Really right now. I got stuff on my lips. I'm buying a cake. Yep, I got makeup on. Alright, go to the living room, baby, so me and Mom can finish. I love your eyes. I can see them blue. You like them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need to do your hair when we're done. Okay. Okay. So, mm-hmm. Thank you, Daddy. Bye, Rose. Okay. You could mention the part where, you know, you said that when he was laughing, I was laughing at Oh, I thought you wanted. You, you, can you want me to say that. Okay. All right, ready? Hold on. Hold on. One second. So at the very end, like I, I told you, I love that part. Yeah. Um, when he does smile, 
I, I had to look at Tyler because it was really freaking weird. It was really a weird moment for me as a wife. I'm sitting there and I'm watching, you know, George on the screen and the way that he smiles and he laughs at Lucy reminded me so much of Tyler. So I turned to Tyler and I was like, wow, you kind of look like him right there. It's a little, I'll, I'll take it's it. the smile. And I'm so used to this person's smile <laughs> that, yeah, it was like, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But it was, it was, it was great because it's something that it's not like in his show. Hmm. It's a, you know, and just like the fact that he cameoed on another show as Superman crossover with I Love Lucy. Yeah. It makes me sad sometimes to think about like how, and this is kind of going off a minute, but like how somebody like him who did such an awesome thing, like he was Superman, he embodied Superman, how unhappy he was in his life, or at least that's what it seems. It's so interesting, like, I don't, like, I, I don't think he killed himself, but that's a whole other story for a whole other Yeah, day. yeah, but I just, I wanted to say, like... Well, I mean, you listen to, um, Noelle Neal talk. Yeah. She, she gave an interview before, she talked about the, like, when the last time she talked with George, how excited he was, because George was going to do a lot more directing and do some things behind the scenes as well, and how serious he took the role, and how serious he took... You know, you know, he did wrestle. He hated it at times. But then she talked about how he, there, before the end, like, there was this new and vigor in him about it. And it, it is sad. Like, because he was such an icon to children of the time. But I think I understand the reason why he would wrestle with not liking that. Because... I mean, it, it doesn't matter what you do. If you're doing it for an extended period of time, we all have that moment of like, you know, I don't know if I'm happy with this. I mean... And it puts a lot of pressure on people like him who are in a position of like, I have to be a certain way in order to make other people happy. Yeah. I mean, you look at, you know, comedians and people throughout the generations that have literally tried to be this uplifting presence, you know, um, it takes a toll on these people. And just, I mean, the role, because he couldn't do anything else. Like, yeah. uh, other roles he was able, unable to take, or... They saw him as Superman. Yeah, it yeah. changed, like, you know, the, the first, the other, only other thing I've ever seen him in, I know he's done other things, was uh, the small role in From Here to Eternity he has. Yeah. And, um, but I think... He is a great Superman. He's a great Superman, and I think he's a good man, too. I just, I feel like, you know, we all have our struggles. So, I look forward to continuing my watch of working through uh, his whole show. Because I have never finished the entire show. Yeah. It's one of those things that I have planned on, and I plan to finish by the end of this year. I will say one thing about the man. Like, he knows how to put a smile on our faces. Yeah. He does. Still to this day, he's still affecting all of us. Um, so that wraps up mine and Jania's last little segment for our Superman Day celebration. Welcome to the greatest time. We just want to say, if you've enjoyed this podcast, please check out other podcasts on the Press Play Podcast Network. Remember to check out Krypton Report on all social media platforms. Go to linktree.com slash Krypton Report. you find all of our information right there. And if you want to keep Krypton from exploding, join our $1 a month Patreon. That's right. For $1 a month, you'll get extra special content that you don't get on the main show, like movie commentaries and whatever else comes out of our mouths. So check it out, patreon.com slash Krypton Report. If you are like Tyler and James and can't get enough super talk, check out these other podcasts. Digging for Kryptonite, Supergirl Radio, The Last Sons of Krypton, The Superboy Legacy Podcast, All-Star Superfans, Superman the Animated Podcast, The Aspiring Kryptonians, Always Hold On to Smallville, Caped Wonder, The Geek of Steel, 
and Truth, Justice, and Hope podcast.